Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. In this video, we will see what is the role of context in Spring Framework. What is a context in Java? A context can be said as the running environment that is provided to the current unit of work. It may be the environment variables, instance variables, state of the classes, and so on. Like servlet context represents the servlet's environment within its container, similar to application context, which represents the Spring application's core environment within the Spring container. There are servlet servlet context, JSF spaces context, Spring's application context, JNDI's initial context, and all these contexts follow the facade pattern to abstract the environment, specific details to the end user providing the interface methods to interact with Spring Context Configuration. In Spring Web Applications, there are two contexts that get initialized at server startup, each of which is configured and initialized differently. Application Context Web Application Context What is Application Context? Application Context defines the beans that are shared among all the servlets. In application context, Spring loads application context.xml file and creates the context for the whole application using context loader listener that we define in our application's web.xml. Application context.xml is the root context configuration for every web application. There will be only one application context per web application. If you are not explicitly declaring the context configuration file name in web.xml using the context config location param, Spring will search for the application context.xml under web inf folder and throw file not found exception, if it could not find this file. Means that defines your business logic, database interaction and other stuff that has to be shared across servlets should reside in application context.xml. This is the part of web.xml file. In the above configuration, we are asking Spring to load root context.xml and create an application context from it. If context config location is not mentioned as in the above snippet, it will by default look for application context.xml. At service startup, context loader listener instantiates all being defined in the application context.xml assuming you have defined the following in context XML file. The beans are instantiated from all four configuration files test1.xml, test2.xml, test3.xml, test4.xml. What is web application context? There can be multiple web application context in a single web application. It is another servlet specific context that is loaded based on the dispatcher servlets configured in the application's web.xml file. Each dispatcher servlet has its own servlet context initialized from servlet name servlet.xml file. This allows us to categorize the incoming requests based on the servlet's URL pattern and handle them accordingly, such that one of the dispatcher servlets could help to serve the web pages via controller, while another one could be used to implement a stateless REST web service. We understand that a single web application can have multiple dispatcher servlet configurations. Dispatcher servlet.xml defines the beans that are related only to that servlet, beans that deals with servlet requests. Web requests like controllers, message converters, interceptors should reside in dispatcher servlet.xml. If we want to change the name of the dispatcher servlet file name or change its location, we can add an it param with context config location as param name, as can be seen below. So with Spring Servlet init param specified as in the above web.xml code snippet, 
Spring no more finds the dispatcher servlet's context file with the name spring servlet.xml, but instead looks for the one specified as the init param value for context config location, that is spring servlet.xml, object creations workflow. When Tomcat starts, beans defined in dispatcher servlet.xml are instantiated. Dispatcher servlet extends framework servlet. In framework servlet bean instantiation takes place for the dispatcher. In our case dispatcher is framework servlet. The beans are all instantiated from all four test 1.xml, test 2.xml, test 3.xml, test 4.xml. After the completion of bean instantiation defined in the application context.xml then beans defined in dispatcher servlet.xml are instantiated. Instantiation order is root is application context, then framework servlet. Difference between the two contexts. Application context is the root context that has been configurations we might want to use and reuse across the entire application as singletons. There can be multiple web application contexts for each of the dispatcher servlets we specify in our application's web.xml. Web application context internally extends application context and as a child inherits all the beans from its parent so we can also override a parent bean within our web application context. It's always better to keep a clear separation between middle tier services such as business logic components and data access classes, which we prefer defining in the application context XML, and web related components such as controllers and view resolvers which we prefer defining in the respective dispatcher servlets web application context. Configuring context loader listener is completely optional. We can boot up a spring application with just the dispatcher servlet, without even configuring context loader listener, that loads up the root context. Let's implement. I hope you already watched previous videos. Let's add what are the things required for the application context. So first starts from web.xml. Add the listener called context loader listener. It extends context loader and implements servlet context listener. If we go via documentation provided by Spring, a bootstrap listener to start up and shut down Spring's root web application context simply delegates context loader as well as the context cleanup listener. This listener should be registered after log4j config listener in web.xml if the letter is used. As of Spring 3.1, context loader listener supports injecting the root web application context via the context loader listener constructor, allowing for programmatic configuration in servlet 3.0 plus environments. Let's run this and see it's working or giving any error. Why am I running? So at least we'll get error one by one so it helps you to remember the solution. As you can see we are getting many exceptions, let's see what is the first one being definition store exception. So it looks like after adding listener it's looking for application context xml file under ribbon directory. So after putting context loader listener, it will search for application context xml file. Let's create the xml file, same name whatever coming in the log. Let's run again and see what happens. Still some error. Now it's telling line 1 in XML document from servlet context resource is invalid, obviously because new file is empty. Let's paste same bean definition like spring servlet XML. 
We are not putting anything related to context so context related namespace is not required. Let's run again and see what happens. See it's working. Let's open the URL in the browser. See it's working. As you can see in the log, initializing Spring Root Web Application Context and other stuff. As per the log can see first application context is loading then Spring Surf Latex ML. Let's create service and DAO layer, so create respected packages. Create separate application context file for each and every layer. name itself you can see service related stuff will contain the application context service dot xml and database related stuff will contain by the application context hibernate dot xml file to identify service and DAO layer need to add context component scan and put the package name and all newly created application contexts XML files need to import an application context XML file. See how simple is it? Same way you can create any number of context XML files to us per the requirement. Let's run again and see what happens. See it's working. Observe the log. It maintain order so first application context then service then hibernate and last spring surf latex ml. Let's change the place and name of all context related XML file using context config location. I already explained all this in previous videos. I changed from application context to spring context or and move it under resources folder that is nothing but the class path, and same way I modify name for other XML files. All good, let's run again and see what happens. See it's working. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.